Don't believe electric vehicle dealers are earning lakhs of money. The reality is EV dealers are facing problems and they are facing losses. Today I want to speak about the electric scooter dealer issues, the dark side of electric two-wheeler industry in India. If you are an EV dealer or if you want to become an electric vehicle dealer, if you are an EV customer, please watch this video fully. Namaste, I am Krishnayatini Mandela, your EV bro. Recently we contacted some of the electric vehicle dealers in India. Out of 10 dealers, two dealers said that we just want to close our business. And when we asked the reason why you are closing the business, they are selling that there is no support from the EV manufacturer and we are facing losses and the market is dull. But you may ask one question. If you look at the electric vehicle market, the market is increasing every month. But the fact is the 50% of the electric two wheeler market is being occupied by four to five EV companies and the remaining 50% EV market is actually struggling. So actual reality is Electric vehicle companies are growing, but the electric vehicle dealers are struggling. Let me tell you five struggles of electric vehicle dealers. Firstly, battery warranty claims. Today, most of the battery warranty claims taking three to six months. A dealer not only buys an electric scooter from the manufacturer, but also buying a spare battery pack. Just only for the reason if a customer faces any kind of battery pack warranty issues, the dealer want to replace the battery pack with the spare battery. But some of the manufacturers not sending replacement batteries for the spare battery packs. Just imagine a dealer is getting 10,000 rupees margin from an electric scooter sale, but the spare battery cost is 50,000 rupees. So the dealer is ending up with 40,000 rupees loss. Today, there are dealers facing 50 lakh rupees to 60 lakh rupees losses only for the reason there is no battery replacement from the manufacturers. And how the dealers are surviving? Because the dealers having other businesses. If they don't have other businesses, if their main business is only electric vehicles, definitely it will become a hell for them. And dealers and sub-dealers are mostly struggling. And the second problem facing by dealers, holding subsidy money from manufacturer. We all know that some of the electric scooters getting subsidy. As of May 2023, the subsidy is up to 20,000 rupees to 60,000 rupees maximum on an electric two-wheeler. Usually the manufacturer need to bear the subsidy amount first. Once the sale happened, then the fame to authority from central government release the amount to the manufacturer account. But the reality is dealer is paying the additional amount earlier. Manufacturer is paying the amount to the dealer later. And there are some manufacturers not pay the subsidy amount to the dealers. In the next purchase order, we will clear your dues. That is what the manufacturer is giving an assurance to the dealers. Some lacks of money ending up with the manufacturers not reaching to the dealers, which ultimately makes the dealers ending up with losses. And the third issue, fame to effect. As of May 2023, central government offered 40% of the overall vehicle cost as a subsidy. But from June 2023, central government reduced the subsidies on electric two-wheeler from 40% to 15% on the overall vehicle cost. Overall, an electric two-wheeler cost increased from 20,000 rupees to 40,000 rupees. The sudden price hike in electric two-wheeler affected the electric vehicle showrooms across India. Just imagine a 90,000 rupees electric scooter, all of a sudden the price increased to 1,30,000 rupees. It makes the electric vehicle market so dull, especially the electric vehicle dealers got affected. And the fourth issue, no support from the manufacturers. While taking dealerships, the manufacturer usually gives so many offers to the dealer. They will tell like, we will give so many services, like 100 services. We will offer you the best battery service. We will, go, we will provide you all the spare parts support and we will provide the marketing support. Lot of issues they used to tell to the dealer. But today the dealers are facing battery issues, spare part issues, subsidy issues. Let me give you an example. Believe it or not, some of the manufacturers build a spare part for 500 rupees, but the same spare part is available in the market with good quality for 150 rupees only. In reality, a dealer want to offer a spare part with the least cost possible to the customer. But the manufacturer itself offering a spare part for the higher price, then how can a dealer offer the spare part for lower price? Here, the game is always on the manufacturer. The game is not on the dealer. And the fifth problem, customer problems. Whenever a problem occurred with the customer, the customer directly approaches the dealer, whether it is for spare parts or battery warranty claims. Immediately, dealer will send a request to the manufacturer for spare parts or for, or for battery replacement. But what happened in reality, the manufacturer will not dispatch the spare parts or the battery pack unless until it reaches to a certain amount. That amount may be 50,000 rupees or 1 lakh rupees. So there is a certain amount of money the dealer need to meet 
for the dispatch. So the customer thinking that the dealer is delaying the replacement or the replacement of a battery pack. But the reality is manufacturer is always waiting for a good amount of uh, overall cost like 50,000 rupees or 1 lakh rupees. Because of the manufacturer delay only, the dealer, the dealer is also delaying the spare parts change. Now even for battery warranty claims, the battery warranty claims delay is happening mainly for the delayed response from the manufacturer. There are some companies in India not do replacement for fa faulty batteries even though the battery is in under warranty conditions. And so many dealers are closing their showrooms just because they are unable to handle the pressure from customers. Today, no dealer having the right to replacement the battery pack. A battery pack can be replaced or repaired only from the manufacturer. But the manufacturer is not providing the support to the dealer. So the dealers are forced to shut down their showroom. And there are some dealers putting their own, own pocket money and doing the service for their customers. Which ultimately leads the dealers into losses. Now the point is we, we get calls from the dealers. They said please visit our showroom. Please make a promotional video to us. If you make a promotional video for them, we will get money. But end of the day, it's, it's not only money is the matter. If a dealer is unhappy, then how come we will be happy? That is the reason we are telling the facts of dealer's problems. Today, if you tell the electric vehicle market is good, most of the people will be interested to take electric vehicle dealership. If more people take dealership, then more chances we get money. But end of the day, our prime objective is not to earn money. Our prime objective is to make electric vehicle market in a stable position. If dealers are happy, then we can also be happy. But today, electric vehicle dealers are not happy. That is the reason we are making this video. Even if a dealer gives 2000 rupees to us, if they are unhappy, that money doesn't make our food digested. A dealer need to be happy first, then the electric vehicle industry will be happy. But right now, the electric vehicle dealers are facing problems. That is the reason we are giving a voice to the EV dealers. Today, if you are planning to take electric vehicle dealerships, follow these three steps. First and foremost thing, always set up your showroom in your own place. Don't take rented places. For rental, you need to spend around 50,000 rupees to 1 lakh rupees just for one month. Just imagine if there is no market, then you need to face 1 lakh rupees losses just for the reasons of rents. In addition to the salaries you need to give to your employees. But if you have your own showroom at your own place, then you can save money from rents. But most of the dealers are making this problem. They are spending most taking the good, good market area, spending 50,000 rupees or 1 lakh rupees for the rentals. And the second step, go for low investment. Don't spend 50 lakhs or 1 crore rupees for the dealership. Go for 5 lakhs or 10 lakh dealerships. For low risk, there are chances of more profit. For example, most of the people right now interested to buy 50,000 rupees electric scooters because right now electric two-wheeler prices increased up to 1 lakh, 1 lakh, 20,000 rupees. If you start with 5 lakh or 10 lakh rupees investment also, you, you have less risk but more chances of more sales. In the third step, do electric vehicle business as a secondary business. Always keep your primary business as a solid income. In case if you want to start EV business, make it as a secondary business. If in case the market is dull, you will get money from the primary business. The reason is EV market is still not stable yet. And this is the ground reality of electric vehicle dealers and electric vehicle manufacturers need to be more responsible, especially in the case of electric vehicle dealers. They shouldn't create any kind of problems to the dealers. But unfortunately, most of the dealers are struggling at the moment. I see some of the dealers having losses up to 20 lakh rupees to 50 lakh rupees. So if you want to become an EV dealer, follow all these steps. And if you are an electric vehicle customer, remember, dealer always try to be your side. But if there is no support from the manufacturer, ultimately it pressures the dealer. This is a ground reality of electric vehicle dealers happening in the EV industry. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to EV Bro. Charge the nature, drive the future.